So Pastor Ryan is leading the way uh, into the bell tower. Okay. All right. I, I'm going to try, Ryan. I'm going to try to get to a spot where you're, um, where you're near my right ear. Brian, I'd like you to get a shot of uh, some of these, some of these cross members, these steps, the steps which I'm ascending right now. Feel like I'm climbing to the heavens. They are very, they're beautifully worn ancient wood. How old are the steps? <laughs> the steps. I'm going to guess the steps are the age of the church. They look like that. 1857. I'm mean, sorry, 18, 18, 1857. 1857. They were building them as they came. Okay, yeah. go ahead, Brian. Just the, the beams here, which you oh know, my you God. see how they span the uh, span the ceiling across the sanctuary. Um, yeah. You just get to see all that truss work as we get up to the next level here. Okay. Uh, we're waiting now for our videographer to come up. Yeah. He's getting a shot of these ancient stairs. They are old, to be sure. Ryan is uh, Ryan is going on to the heavens from here. Just watch your watch your head up here. Just okay. Slow. Oh, and uh, Ryan had emphasized to me before Brian began following me the uh, the magnitude of the timbers that we're observing up here. This is fantastic. Yeah, this is absolutely fabulous. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. yeah, let's get that pointed out. Hey. Oh, it is low. Heather. Do you have me, Heather? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, watch your head. Yeah, real loud. Okay. Okay. How, how much of our audience do we still have, Heather? Uh, most of them. Okay, great. I think we lost two or three uh, people, but okay. Holy moly! For... A fear of heights, and I'm really interested in how he's doing with this. I okay, I can't help but make a couple remarks now before uh, Pastor Ryan starts to talk a little bit about this. Um, this is for those of you who have been on my previous tours, or those of you who know me and know my penchant for going into attics and basements. Uh, I'm just really in my element up here. I mean, this is just absolutely fantastic. I'm going to just point out a couple of the real subtle details, and then I'll have Pastor Ryan uh, talk about some of the other stuff. First of all, um, Brian, just kind of hone in on just the magnitude of these timbers, how, how massive everything is up here. Um, I won't attempt to describe the, all the manner of construction. For example, like right here, Brian, where I'm pointing, uh, all of these various notches, notching, I should say, this all has, uh, these all have specific names in timber framing. Uh, possibly I'll tell you about them at another time. What I do want to point out, Brian, is right here, that these members have been numbered with Roman numbers, such that they would be put into the proper locations when they were fitted in. This is the knee brace. Uh, which is uh, actually supporting another, this is not a rafter, this is another upper member here. The thing that we're sitting on, I'm not exactly sure what that is, nor do I know if it's original, but we can look at some of the areas where the joints have been put together with mortise and tenons. Uh, look right here, Brian, this is an area where two framing members come together with a blind mortise and a blind tenon. There's a, there is a blind tenon on the end of this board right here. And that is inserted into the blind mortise of this, of this element. And then a peg has been driven through here, a trenel has been driven through to, uh, to hold it in place. Okay, we'll continue on up. Next level. Did I miss anything here, Ryan? No, no, you okay. got it. Okay, there are a lot of big uh, iron bolts, uh, through bolts up here. Um, I also see some blank mortises. Uh, maybe 
diagnostic of certain members having been changed over time. Good bit of the upper roof structure has definitely been changed over time. I think the rafters may very well be original. Uh, we're going to make that determination as we go on. Oh, loads of graffiti up here. Okay, loads of loads of graffiti. It's been a tradition to bring our communicants class, uh, our communicants class, once they're ready for confirmation, uh, traditionally came up here, uh, kind of reaching that, that next level of understanding the faith and understanding the church that they're becoming a part of. So many of these names here of our, uh, our teams as they became full members. Bonnie, right passage. That, that's an idea for your communicants at Zion Lutheran Church. Would you take them into the bell tower? Please, oh, we always, and have them inscribe we their always names. take them into the bell tower. But, you know, the Germans would say there's no graffiti. No graffiti. Germans say no graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> oh, has, okay. has to be neat and clean. Yeah. Press. Pre but they are, that's a are big a lot thing more to, to go to the bells. Yeah. That's right. Pastor, yeah, were the there bells, bells in this tower? Was this a bell there, tower? There are, there are bells. Okay. There, there, mm -hmm. there are bells. Uh, they're in the next level mm -hmm. up. No, my and kids. those are operational still. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. the rope hangs down the balcony. Right. The rope hangs in the balcony. We did walk by that. Great, I forgot to great, point that great. out on the, on the way down. Should we take another level, Pastor? Okay. Okay. There's also there's a little window up there. I'm not sure what the view will look like today, but it's okay. Really down I'm wondering what this actually looks like on the other end because I'm in the lead here, and I know that uh, Brian LeBlanc is doing a superb job of uh, videoing this. Hopefully, he's getting these steep stairs where we're coming up. Okay, here I'm looking out a window out onto the roof of the sanctuary, actually. And this is a, this is a standing, traditional standing seam roof, very, very old, probably not uh, the age of the church, but extremely old. And then as I proceed, this is the door that takes you on to the that goes outside to the steeple. It goes outside to the steeple and the bell hangs up in a, there's a little covered area where the louvers are that the bell sits in. Um, yes, yeah, so that trap door can be opened and you can get out onto the steeple. You're daring me, aren't you? Well, I, I don't know if it's locked or just- uh, Okay, locked. I'm going to take a look. Okay. Ooh, this is tight. Yeah, it's tight. This needs a skinnier guy. Let's see here. Okay. You folks would not believe what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to perform the impossible here. If you could get a shot from what? No, you can't do it, I don't think. Anyway, I'm out. If you folks can recall the uh, shot from the street, I'm near the very top of this whole thing right now. Uh, I'm actually looking outside. No, that didn't work. All right, no, but I will. I couldn't do it. I tried, folks. Oh, but it was beyond my... It's raining up there on top today. So anyway, we're nearly to the top. Uh, you want to? Okay, these younger guys are gonna. This old goat may be too, may be too old, and uh, Pastor Ryan is familiar with this. I'd love to have Brian take a shot out over there if possible. Yeah. You want to see what you can do up there? Okay. Are you getting some good stuff here? Is everybody still joined in there, Heather? Looking at all the cool stuff here we've got going on? Uh, we're down We're down to about 16, uh, Six. sorry, 15 participants. So you still have 15? more than half class. 
<laughs> we I have, hope everyone's yeah. enjoying it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, right. Now you can't get up there and stick your head around the barrel right over your head. Yeah. Brian LeBlanc <laughs> is going up. Uh, he's going outside. Brian LeBlanc uh, has height issues, so you guys be ready to grab him if he looks out over there. He said he says he's good. Okay. Right. I don't see what I don't see exactly what he's photoing, but I bet it's cool. It's uh, pretty cool. I'll describe it for you, Bill. He's looking out at the white painted balustrades, or that's probably the wrong architectural term, but the uh, tower-like structure of the bell, okay. the bell tower itself at the, he's okay. looking down at the roofs. And when he gets does. done with his, when he gets done with his work, then I'm going to actually go up and have a well, look Well, it for really myself. does want... give an impression of how tall this steeple is over this city to imagine that the houses he's looking at folks, most of those roofs were there in, in uh, 1857. So the idea that this steeple was built to look you know, down and out and over, much like the protective eye of God looking out okay. over the town. Okay, yeah. we just, we just okay. got a glimpse of the bell. Yep. Okay, you got a oh, glimpse Brian, of the bell. Oh, do you wanna take a look did at the bell real just, quick before you, you just got a glimpse again? of the bell? Yeah, okay, Before hold you on. come down, Brian, can you see the bell a little bit or? Yeah. Before he you got it, he got a glimpse of it. This is so good, isn't it? They say that they're seeing all this. <laughs> there, there it is. is. Oh, that's beautiful, Brian. And I've got a hold of the. I have a hold of the rope. <laughs> Do not ring it while he's out there. <laughs> Quasimodo, my brother. Don't resist a, the temptation, please, Brian. I have a hold of the rope now. right now. <laughs> If Brian's going to come back down in the dry, and I'm going to personally go up there and have a look okay. before Pastor Ryan closes this out. I do. All right. Okay. All righty. Okay. And I'll let Brian take over when we get right. back. Up. The rope, I'm not sure we featured that. That's the rope right there that rings the bell, folks. And that goes all the way down to the balcony. Okay. I'm going out into the wet. Here I go. Hey. Pastor, do you still ring the bell by hand? Brian, you Brian. ask him that. Okay. I, oh. When uh, <laughs> those, you can't hear them now, nor can I relate the questions. Uh, did you folks get a shot of the river, the river bridge, and all that? Okay. Not quite. You, you didn't see that? You can hand him the gimbal if you want to, Brian. Okay. This is all Actually, I'm going to go it's back. It's not down. professional you, looking. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. You did get the rooftops. Did you get all the rooftops? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and you got the bell. Somebody's got a phone on. Yep, it's all right. I got her. Okay. I'm going to come back down. Going to let the pastor try to steal the hatch. Pastor, do you still ring the bell by hand? Do you ring the bell by hand, Pastor Ryan? Uh, Ryan, do you want? Can you get the patch? Yeah, he's going to ring the bell for us. Do they ring it by hand on Sunday morning? Yeah. We ring it by hand on Sunday morning, right? Uh, we don't. Actually. Oh, no. really? No. It's the. Uh, the bell? The 315 bell. <laughs> 315 bell. Okay, so did you all hear the Be bell ringing? Careful, ring? you're going to get yes, phone calls. Yes, when we ring that right. bell, it means someone Three, has passed away. 315 bell. <laughs> Pastor Ryan did it. I'm going to have Pastor Ryan go up and close the hatch to make well, we, sure it's we'll secure. Yes. They got us out of prison. I tried to, but oh, they didn't. No. I just had a beeping in there. Did, you, did the folks get a shot of the river? Yes. Yes. You, you yes. Did see the river. We saw the river. Saw great. the river and you saw oh. the rooftops. Oh. We okay, saw the bridge. Nice. We saw the bridge, okay. the river, and the rooftops. And Market okay. Street. <laughs> Boy, am I glad we've got these young spry guys along here now? <laughs> Pastor Ryan is putting the hatch over. This is this is a real adventure up here, I'll tell you. Hey Brian. Uh, for those of for those of you who hung on for the extra minutes in this class. Uh, I hope you know you're getting way, 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 way more than you bargained for on the first time out of the box here. Yeah. 
Hey, Bill, you might want to warn Pastor Ryan to expect some phone calls from concerned neighbors. Ring <laughs> the church bell in the middle of the day it means someone has uh, passed away. <laughs> uh, these were uh, chimes of jubilation today. The fact that the uh, Bill 469 made its way all the, all the way to the top, yeah. to the bell. That's right. No, yeah. it was the British are coming. <laughs> uh-huh. Again. Okay. <laughs> So are we all done? I guess so. Okay. Want to hit the wall. Uh, would you like to take a quick shot on the garden wall before we leave, folks? You have still have 15 people there? We'll go down. Oh, this way. I'm sorry. No. We have 13, yeah. and I would need a couple of you to just either thumbs up or let me know. Do you want Bill to actually, Bill, just make your way out? And if, if anyone needs to leave, please feel free to do so. We understand. This will all be part of our recording. You can request this recording of me at any time, but I will try to break just this segment as its own video so that okay. just the stuff from three o'clock on can be a supplement for anyone who can stay with us. So, okay. Are you still filming, Brian, on the way down? It's equally as interesting coming down as it is going up. I was going to say. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, Brian LeBlanc is saying more interesting and more challenging to be sure. <laughs> yeah, let's see the garden wall. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll go there as soon as we make our way down from this area. This is no small feat, folks. I've got to tell you, we have to crawl through a little passage here to get to the stairs. And Brian, I'm not sure if you did that on purpose or not, but your video just cut out. There it is. There it is. We're back. No, you're good. We're back. I was trying to. I was trying to get rid of something. Yeah, you you actually did answer that call because uh, the person on the other end was talking. Thanks for cutting them off. Yeah, He's oh, probably also okay. trying hard not to. Uh, Make us all seasick. You as want me to hold that? Camera back and forth. Okay. If you, if you can handle that just to get down the final. There's a, the final leg of this is crawling through this tiny passageway that's only about a foot and a half tall. Brian is trying to make his way through there now. This would not have been, had we been conducting these tours in a physical sense, this would, okay. Had we been conducting these tours in a physical way, this would clearly have not have been a place we would have brought our uh, participants. Just take a look down here. This is scary right here oh, where yeah. we are. This is really scary. So if you step off here, it's all over. <laughs> okay, are we still there? Okay. Yeah, you go first. Oh, Brian, okay. that's a great shot. Did you get me coming down these incredibly steep stairs here? Yes, <laughs> yep, we got you. You're preserved uh, for posterity. <laughs> oh my God. So are those, those steps. Oh my God. Uh, and the brickwork. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yes, the beautiful brickwork on the inside. And then that's original. I'm seeing, as I told you people when we went up the first time, I'm seeing various what appear to be alterations. I see mortises in the bricks that are void at this point in time. Really tough to say what has gone on here over, over that period. You already heard uh, Rick Gathman talk about the extensive renovations that were done in as recently as the, ooh, as recently as the 1970s, where things were stripped down practically to the studs. However, they were not up in those areas of the building. Okay, I'm I'm down waiting for this to come down. Okay, great stuff. How did the photos turn out, folks? Did they come out good? Was it great? Was it good? Great. Brian did okay, a wonderful fantastic. job. Okay. Awesome. Okay, Brian, you were getting some kudos on your work. And Pastor Ryan, uh, 
very adroitly came down these steps backwards. <laughs> Looks like he's well seasoned with this sort of thing. Without the pastor, have you, you ever been have up gotten there, the trap door open? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. No. We, no, I, I couldn't do that. No, he's a much bigger, much stronger, younger guy than I am. So he was able to get that off. Yeah. 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 So, you know, that's, uh, Heather, you'll be able to make this available to uh, Rick as well at some point. So he oh, can get, us, get to see what we did. Yes. Okay. Rick, very good. Just make sure to Don't give the up. email address that you want to yeah. use. All we'll need is your email address. Okay. Uh, now, I feel like I'm starting to ramble, but it seems like I've still got some interested participants here. A quick look at the garden wall. Okay. Okay, thank you. And then we'll talk more about your building too. Absolutely. On another time. I will. Yeah. Absolutely. Good, thank, thank you, Rick. Yep, thank you very much, Rick. Okay, quick look at the garden wall. Pastor is leading this out. Now, and yeah, yeah, let's just go to the back there. Okay. Do uh, you want to just get a shot of the manse while we're here as well? The, uh, does everybody hear me? Brian is just uh, taking a picture of the uh, adjoining manse of the church, uh, built fully 12, 13 years after the church in the high Italianate style. We're going to actually go through the backyard of the manse and we'll go to the garden wall. We'll see some of the ancient tombstones and then we're gonna wrap it up from there, okay? So this, this is the, the uh, 1980s addition to the church. I think that Brian is attempting to photo that right now. We're in the back uh, backyard of the manse, which abuts the addition, the uh, ancillary part of the church. And this is the garden wall to which I was referring. And it delineates the church property from the Packwood House Museum, which would be on the other side, immediately to our east. And this is just an intriguing little uh, walkway area little easeway uh, that goes from the back of the manse to the alley to the north to the rear of the church. And I'm just going to let Brian go down and just zoom in uh, literally and figuratively on some of these tombstones. These were some of the occupants of the early churchyard. And if you'll recall the uh, legend which was imparted to me, and that was at the time of the disinterment in 1857, and the bodies were taken, some of them, the ones that could be recovered, were taken to the Lewisburg Cemetery. However, apparently the families, not all families, had the desire to take the stones with them. Uh, I can attest to that uh, somewhat in that I have investigated the, the cemetery fairly thoroughly. Apparently there was a desire on the part of the families to actually erect new, presumably more elaborate monuments in the cemetery at that point in time. But you can see these are really, really early stones. And these were placed in the basement and then they were discovered at a later point in time. And I can't really identify some of these names are family and Lewisburg names. I was hoping, of course, to find the stone of uh, Matthias uh, L.A. Khoisan, uh, but that one is not to be found on the garden wall. And I think you have one more. We'll go out the, I, we'll, should we go back in that way? Oh, we can just just go one. around. Okay. So we're just gonna make a circle. You can see that these folks were all born in the latter part or presumably in the latter part of the 18th century. Most of them passed in the early 1800s, uh, which would have been concomitant to the time of construction. Okay, I think, are we about done? So uh, anyway, uh, if there are no questions, we only ran 25 minutes over. Uh, if any of you are still hanging in, if you've got any questions, direct them to either Heather or to me. Like I said, feel free to call. I think we really had a good tour of the church. I hope everyone enjoyed it. And until next time, uh, Pastor Ryan and I will sign off.
So thank you again very much for participating today.